we've got some trees and they're pretty awesome and they're made of wood and crap that wasn't supposed to happen damn it god well that pretty much makes boats worthless I mean they just they just honestly they just die so fast from crashing into the dock maybe maybe that's my problem maybe I have to have a dock that um doesn't require the boat to crash or something oh yeah and unlike mine carts um when you harvest a boat it breaks so you better watch out for that really oi where where am I going oh there we go this is where I was uh, intending to head to and as you can see there I managed to uh oh crap send my boat no Boat, get back over here, you filthy cur. You filthy cur. Urgh. Здравствуйте, товарищи. Сегодня мы катаемся на лодке и ищем бамбук. No, stop, 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 don't crash into the shores, damn it. Uh, I don't even know what to say. The, the boat mechanics in this game are just really wonky sometimes. Like, whenever you get out, it's best to do it in a corner. Oh, whoa, look at that. That was fast. Wasn't it? I wonder if I can plant this crap. Oh, get back over here, you damn boat. Alright, so I think that should have been uh, sufficient sufficient reads for now. Oh, dear. We've gotten ourselves into a little bit of a, of a doozy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, actually, you know what? I think it'd be kind of cool to, um, to have, like, a redstone-activated, uh, redstone-activated door kind of a thing to get out of my, uh, ultra-awesome water shelterness. Or maybe I should build it inland and have, like, have, like, a giant water slide. <laughs> or, like, or, like, a waterfall escalator abusing water physics. I wonder if he's fixed that, actually. Um... Anyways, so it would appear that uh, every time my boat um, touches some of the wood that I have uh, within my dock, and look at that, you can you can even see the faint traces of subscriber monument from over, damn it, I knew that was going to happen. I think it's if you're going fast enough that happens. I think it has something to do with speed. So, moral of the story is, your boat can't really stop itself, and you really shouldn't go fast in it. I'm also going to use some of these reeds to bash this construction block down. Anyways, as I was saying before I was interrupted, you can see the subscriber monument from uh, this end of the island as well. So, it it's a beautiful, beautiful landmark. And you can see it from all ends of the island. And I don't really know why um why I'm going on this boating trip, but I had a sudden sudden yearning to uh yearning. Uh, I do believe the word is a yearning or a sudden urge to uh, go around my island and uh, see if you can see a subscriber monument from everywhere. So apparently there's some something right there blocking it. That hill is gonna have to get deconstructed. Uh, simply put, I cannot have something that blocks my view of the subscriber monument. It is her heretical. This might be a cool site to uh to build something at actually. And there's some bamboo over there. See like like look at that. It it usually it takes you like two squares to stop. Like when you're turning using the the keys, it goes through an entire square before it actually uh does anything. And uh, I'm hoping you can't hear that, but that's my dog barking at something in the background. Well, that was sort of redundant, wasn't it? I hope you can't hear that, but let me tell you what it is that I hope you can't hear. Uh, it makes so much sense sometimes, it sickens me. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's just continue our wonderful... Wonderful maiden voyage on ship number four, I think it is, at this point. <laughs> We've broken a lot of ships. So, I guess the lesson of the story is, I suck at boating in this game. <laughs> 
for some reason, me going around like this um, reminds me a lot of Darkfall. Now, I never actually bought the game, but um, I was I was in a clan um, for it. It's called the Realm of Cardane, and they were they see they, there were some pretty cool guys there, and then they left. Uh, well, now they've left, anyways. If you look them up, they're a bunch of fucking fags right now. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, yeah, we were we were basically a clan for Darkfall, and we'd play like Age of Chivalry together, and it was it was pretty fun. But anyways, the the lesson of the story here is oh crap, I did it again. Um, anyways, uh, is that this just reminds me of Darkfall, because um. I actually I didn't buy the game as I said, but I shared my account with um with a Serbian guy. Basically, couldn't be on most of the time, and when he was on, I was off. And um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, he was really chill, and um, it was really nice of him to share his account like that. But anyways, mm, the first the first thing we did after we claimed our little town stone is um we went out exploring. Uh, we built ourselves a raft, and we just we just went sailing on it, and you know, I think there were a lot of things that the game did right, in my opinion. And one of them was the way that it just had such an epically huge world. And the only place you were bound to is, like, your uh, your clan's town hall, clan stone, or whatever it is. And then you could just go out, and you could just explore for days on end. And, you know, you'd get, you'd get like, exploring points or whatever. So, yeah, I might actually have to build something on that hill over there, because it's pretty damn tall. <laughs> it's more like a mountain, really. And I'm going to need to be able to see, coming from that direction, that this is, in fact, my island. As you can see, stuff is still being randomly generated. Because I haven't been this far out from, uh, from my little corner of coziness. Why? Because even in my corner of coziness, I managed to die with alarming frequency. But that right there is my suicide pole. Which means that my spawn point should be right about there somewhere. Oh. Oh, hey there, buddy. Uh, this here, guys, is, uh, is Clay. And, uh, Clay, Clay has gotten a lot of infamies on the internet and on the Minecraft forums. Because some people, like, spawn in worlds where there's, like, millions of blocks of clay. And then there's other people who have, like, a world that's, like, 200 gigabytes in size. And they haven't seen a single block of it. And they have, like, five other worlds that are just as big. And they haven't they haven't even ever seen it. So, it's... See, this is one of the reasons I went exploring. I just want to see the terrain. See if there were any really beautiful spots around here. I haven't really spotted any of them, but I have found um, a nice clay deposit. So I'll show you guys what I can do with this um, later. Um, yeah, there's there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with the clay. And just gonna keep keep gathering some more of it. Wow, this is a really nice patch of it. That's awesome. And uh, clay is awesome. That is the lessons of the story. So yeah, now there's a very, very strong, like, riptide current going into where the clay used to be. Because I'm just a jackass like that and... <laughs> just did that. So, there's that. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I was, um... The other day I was listening to people rant on about, um... Whether there is an a, a like um, a source or something, um, whether you can make an infinite lava source, like you guys might remember the well that I made uh, that's infinite. There were, that doesn't work with lava, but there are people um, saying that there was a way that you could do it that would work with lava. So that's pretty cool, and that's something that um, I would like to see actually, or uh, or try it for myself. I have um, I have four buckets of lava, so I think that might be enough. Um, Four buckets of lava left over from when I did the uh, the giant constructions and stuff. Uh, but yeah, oh, this is actually really kind of cool. This right here, you see, uh, this this right here is a secondary entrance to my cave, and it's like it's like a little indent in there. And I think it would be really cool and kind of sort of corny 
and kind of sort of cliche, but if I if I had like a, a lake in there that I could enter from here and just go down into my cave and emerge elsewhere on the island, that would be kind of cool, I think. So yeah, there's that. I've just explored. Um, I've just gone completely around my landmass, and there you can just barely make out the subscriber monument on the horizon. So yeah, uh, right now I'm using just the A and D keys to turn. As you guys can see, if you're going slow, it turns pretty evenly. Sometimes it jumps, but if I were to start going faster like this, see now I'm holding D and I'm not turning half as much, but I'm losing a little bit of speed. So if I hold W and D, this is what the result looks like. It's just a very slow and lazy arc, and letting go of W makes it a nice turn. So right there is my boat house, my house of boats, and oh, 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 oh. so we're gonna have to be very careful about this one. Turn in and uh, forward. And we have landfall. And apparently that also broke my boat. Getting out of my boat broke it. Because I was like on top of it and like all sorts of stuff was happening and it was crazy and I don't know what I was thinking and I was really drunk and he was kind of cute and I don't know where I'm going with this. Alright. <laughs> um, yeah, it was kind of odd. Uh, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end this little, um, this little session. So hopefully this will turn out to be a couple of mildly interesting vids. I think this is one of, uh, I haven't shown any construction lately. So that's what I decided to do today. And just show off some of the landscape and some of how boats are really, really damn broken. Um, so yeah, there's that. And, uh, see you guys next